Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Um, I tried to do this video last week. Um, I did go to like get the footage and that, but I think I just ended up playing the games. Um, you know, and I, I really did try to get the footage and put it together, but I just I just could not get the time. I just could not get around to it. Um, if anyone's ever wondered why, you know, because I, I, I was putting up of um, a video every week at least I um, think for a while now it's been like sometimes it can be every week and then sometimes it's every other week it's just simply because I've just it's not for the because I've just thought oh, I'll just do a video next week it's just I'll, you know I'll go to do a video and it just doesn't get made to the following week and put up to the following week just because I'm so busy, um, so yeah, I am trying to keep that thing of doing one every week, but I think every once in a while it'll end up being every other week, and then going back to every week, and then, you know, so on and so forth, but yeah, basically, um, the other week, um, Ash, um, Ash b 18 for you, I'll put a link to his channel below, great YouTuber, um, he basically uh, sent me a message saying that his, um, you know, his uh, downsizing his collection and just sorting out, you know, what he wants from what he doesn't want, basically. And um, he sent me a message and said, you know, did I want glue for the Amiga? And um, I said, hell yeah, that'd be awesome. But I've... Um, been having some issues with uh, PayPal, which they're just bloody dragging their feet at. But you now I said, normally I'd offer you. Um, well, I say normally, you know, no one's ever sent me anything. So, but yeah, I said, you know, I, I'd like to, you know, give you um, the postage and that. But if we could just like delay it a few weeks or something, and hopefully I'll have my PayPal thing sorted out and be able to give you the you know the shipping costs because um he said he didn't want anything for the game and you know i i wanted to give him shipping costs at least you know you know he's going to send that over to me for nothing you know it's just you know really generous um but yeah he's, he's he just said not to worry about it and he said uh he's got a few other games that were just the discs only and he would send those over and uh package turned up um not last Saturday, Saturday before, and um, yeah, I've got to say a big thank you to Ash. Um, sent me over Gloom, um, Alien Breed 2, um, Doc Crocs Adventures, and um, ST Dragon, or is it St. Dragon? And he only did a, a video on that um, not so long ago, so i got to say a big thank you to Ash. Oh yeah, and you also sent me a disc of, um, oh, is it Mega Power or Mega Format? I've, I've, um, I've got them um, ready to put on my Kindle, but I haven't had a chance. I haven't, you know, I've just been so pushed for time. Um, I haven't really been able to do anything I've wanted to. But yeah, obviously I sent them an email to say they've arrived and, you know, a big thank you um, for sending them over for nothing, basically. He, he just didn't want anything so that's you know really really generous um yeah so i was just just amazing really it sent those over and um yeah i've been playing uh gloom um quite an interesting game i was really really surprised when it came over because i think you know first person shooter it's got to be on like you know god knows how many discs but when I opened it up, it was only on two discs. I was quite amazed it it was only on two discs. I was, you know, being a first person shooter, I'd, I'd, I'd expect it to be on more. Um, but you know, just it's on two discs. And uh, first, um, I went to play it, but um, WHD Load said I needed the newer version to play it after I'd, I'd installed it to the iDrive. That is, so I reinstalled the new version of WHD load but for some reason so this is the thing with WHD load not all games will work with WHD load even though an install has been made for a game so 
Gleam is a perfect example. There's an install, there's an installer made for Gleam. I haven't checked, but it could well have bug fixes and what have you in that install because a lot of HD load uh, installs do have bug fixes for the games, which is one of the great aspects of WHD load. So anyway, I, in I installed the installer, realized I had to get the new version of um, WHD load, installed that, blah, blah. Got the game up and running and everything was fine until I actually got into the game and as I would move, all the walls and the ceiling and I think the floor was alright but it was mainly the ceiling and the walls would just disappear. It was like a, like a major glitch going on, like the game was broken, you'd move, one, minute, one second a, a wall would be there, then it would disappear and you'd see you'd see like, you wouldn't see, you well you'd see nothing but you'd see right into infinity if that makes any sense, it, you know the floor would just keep on going and there'll be nothing, you know there'll be no walls or anything stopping that view and as you turn you'd see enemies and walls flickering and out and I was like, I don't understand why that's happening, you know it's, it, it is an A1200 game well, anyway, um, I decided to play it from disc and it fixed all that. So, playing the game from disc, actually, you know, it's only two discs. It didn't, some two disc games actually do take a lot of uh, disc swapping, but yeah, Gloom, you just, um, once, it, once it asks for the data disc, that's pretty much it, really. Wasn't much disc loading in there at all, if any. Um, yeah, and it just played perfectly. No flickering of the walls, no disappearing of the walls or enemies or seeing to the infinity and beyond and everything was fine so that i think gloom is like a perfect example of you know um not all games will work on certain systems and whether you install them to the, the uh hard drive or not they still it you know some games you just might have to just uh run from the disc that's just the way it is really the same with, I've got another game as well, it's 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 um, a text adventure game called uh, The Hounds of Shadow based on the Cthulhu Mythos by HP Lovecraft, it's a brilliant game. Also I have trouble with that playing from the hard drive, it crashes, but it doesn't necessarily crash, it just kind of freezes at certain points and you can't do anything and that's playing it off the hard drive. If you play it off the discs it's fine. And it especially runs perfectly on the um, A2000, which again is a good reason for keeping the A2000 as it is. You know, original ROMs and the original workbench that it come with, which is the 1.3 workbench and ROMs. So there you go. It, and um, yeah, so I've got to find cash for that. Uh, it's, I find, I find um, you know, it's really interesting to play a first person shooter game on the Amiga because I find it wholly fascinating you know that whole time period of um of you know with the amiga and stuff because the amiga 1200 i mean the original concept for the 4000 and 1200 was really what they was going to produce was going to make the 4000 1200 way out there i mean really advanced but, but because of uh, money and time constraints they uh kind of um they got rid of all that and decided no we'll go with something less you know out there and will be quicker to produce then when they found that time constraints was still pushing them and money wise as well they got rid of that and they settled on the a aga chipset which is basically two steps down from something that just could have blew everyone away really and what we got was the aga chipset which wasn't really that advanced to be honest with you it just was you know it's like a little improvement it, it didn't really blow people away but what fascinates me is that you know how um, a lot of the people who made first person shooters back in the day they immediately thought PC this game that's what we'll do it on but if they if the Amiga if Commodore had gone with the original what they was going to do with the 4200 which would have you know, put the Amiga back on being really advanced system far out there, then 
the first thoughts for these developers would have been to produce first person shooters for the Amiga, then maybe the PC afterwards. So I find that wholly fascinating. I mean, the Amiga did get some, um, a lot of the first person shooters, but some of them you really need the high spec Amiga to run them, you know, like um, the Motorola, the um, 060 Motorola chip and, you know, a good accelerator card and whatnot, especially if it's on the uh, 1200. But there, there is other like um, first person shooters on Amiga, like Hexen managed to get on there, Doom 2 managed to get on there. I was I, I actually after playing um um Gloom I did look into getting um uh Doom up and running as well. Um it's, it's a bit more of a, a convoluted process to get that running. You need uh, certain files and stuff. But there's other um first person shooters they managed to get on there as well. You got Alien Breed 3D which I think I've done a video on quite a while ago, and then you've got other ones like um, they actually managed to get um, Duke Nukem 3D, was it? Um, yeah, the, I'm not even I'm not even going to attempt to try and run that on my AG on my uh, 1200. I don't think it's fast enough. I've only got an A30 accelerator card, so probably wouldn't run very well to be honest. But yeah, got to thank Hash for Gloom. It's really really good game. Um, like I said, I, I do find the, the whole first-person shooter thing and that whole time period really fascinating with the Amiga because, um, I mean, if 4000 was, I mean, when I think of the 4000, it's pretty beefy Amiga, an Amiga, but when I think what could have been, you know, with the 4000 and 1200, you know, it's just that Commodore spent too much of their resources, you know, time and money, and silly things like the um, A500 Plus, the CD TV, which was just completely stupid. And then you've got other things like the A600. They really didn't need the A600. I mean, it gave us the PCMCIA slot and the the uh, internal IDE connection. connection. But... Um, as a system, they didn't really need to bring it out just for those two improvements, really, to be honest. Um, he also sent me, I find this game quite fascinating, actually. Um, oh, yeah, and he did send me Assassin as well. I've never heard of two games I've never heard of. Assassin, which is one that sent me, and the other one was Doc Croc's Adventures. And when I saw that, I thought, Doc Croc's Adventures and Assassin. So I went and looked them up um because I've never heard of them. They're two that I hadn't heard of. Dot Croc, I've got to admit, that was pretty nostalgic. Um, it's based... Um, it's from... Um, it's a game made up from a TV show here in the UK. It would probably mean nothing to uh, people in Europe and in the States. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's from a TV show called... And it was an early 90s TV show called Around the Bend. I remember watching that uh, when I was a kid. It had this crocodile that was in the sewers. I can't remember exactly everything about the show because it's such a long time ago. But yeah, it had Roland Rat on there, and uh, I think yeah, Roland Rat is probably one of the most iconic kind of uh, characters for me from back in the early early days and you know kids TV shows and stuff like that. I mean. Uh, that character was just uh, really funny, so that was a pretty big nostalgia trip for me. And um, yeah, from a game I've never heard of, so I really got to thank Ash for sending me those uh, games through, especially that one and Gloom. Uh, so I got a pretty big nostalgia boost out of that. So thanks, dude. Oh yeah, and um, that thing I said that I. Uh, order us both um, it, it, it's actually came through and um, I should be sending it off tomorrow so hopefully I'll upload this video today but if I, if it gets uploaded tomorrow then it should be on its way I'll email um, email you the um, yeah I'll just email you dude anyway so yeah again go and check Ash's channel out he's a great guy like I said um, Got to thank him big time for those games. Um, yeah, and um, hopefully I'll get another video up next week. Um, I'll say that, but I can only 
can only do my best. So, um, yeah, just thanks to Ash and uh, thanks for watching.